Tens Podcast, the show where one of us makes a list and the other three try to guess what's on it. Uh, this week we have Karim making a list, so that'll be fun. Before uh, we get into it, anyone have any like interesting things going on this week that have been interesting? Um, <laughs> interesting things that have been interesting? No, not really. Oh, I saw, I saw, no, I I mean, saw Bambi Same today. old, same old, bro. Like a little deer? Two little baby deers. It was the cutest thing I've seen in a while. Oh. Nice. But yeah. I was just out on your out route. Out on route, baby. I saw you, bro. <laughs> oh, thank you, Graham. Nice. I was playing in a, yeah. a hockey game this weekend. Or on Monday. Oh. So, like, the, everything's finally been opened back up. Wait, and where are you? Parker Fieldhouse. No so, they, they opened up their men's league. So, I played there. And this is the third week now. But in the third week, they added a new policy, like the state mandate for masks. They've decided that applies to hockey, oh. too. So we have to play <laughs> We have to play with our masks on, which is obviously not actually possible. So everyone's got the mask really hanging on their chin and just barely covering their mouth. Did you get a mouth. bubble? Oh, and then like by the end of it, it's just covered in sweat. What if, what? You, what if you got a bubble? I mean, most bubbles have the holes, though. Like if you could find like a true bubble, then that'd probably be probably fine. But like, like, a bitch. like most bubbles have like the caging kind of wiring bottom. Yeah. You just fish blowing it up. Dude, out that's there. sick. Yeah, that'd be rough. <laughs> no, it's bad. An absolute aquadome out there. Yeah, <laughs> just actually wear a fishbowl <laughs> and you're fine. <laughs> Talk about hypoxia. Is that am I right? <laughs> yeah, you'll die. It would it'd suck. <laughs> Especially while you're, like, dying because you're playing a roller hockey game, which is, like, already super hot and makes you breathe heavy. Yeah, dude, I feel like hockey's like, one of the worst sports to, like, have to wear a mask in. I know. It's, like, roller hockey in particular, because, like, at least ice hockey, the rink is cold, so it cools you down a little bit. But there is not a hotter sport <laughs> no. that I, I can think of than no, roller hockey. Man. Like, talk about, like, dude, <laughs> hockey actually got ranked as, like, the smelliest sport. And, oh, and yeah. like, roller hockey is that just on steroids. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, I mean, ice is probably a little bit worse as far as the smell because there's more pads. Yeah, that's true. But actually, I don't know. It's close. That's true. But, like, it's just the combination of the sheer volume of pads – with like the heat of the sport, so you sweat so much, and it's and then everyone just stuffs all their st- like equipment in a hockey bag and like just doesn't yeah. deal with it forever. <laughs> there for four years. Yeah. <laughs> like how often? How often do you guys actually wash your gear? I like maybe once or twice a year. I'll actually oh, wash bro. mine. If that, dude. <laughs> like my dad used to wash my gear when I was like growing up, and like. Dude, my gear hasn't been washed in years since then. <laughs> Doesn't happen a lot. All right, let's go ahead and get into Karim's list here. Karim, what are we talking about today? Yeah, man. So we're going to talk about the top 10 video game worlds that you'd want to be a protagonist in. That sounds fun. It is fun. Okay. Let's get into right, it, bro. So let's let's see what I'm you guys got. One, right? Yeah, Marshall, then Zach, then me. So I'm going to go Red Dead Redemption. We I got it, it, baby. I knew that had to be on it, baby. Karim has been playing that a lot. Was that number one? What, Zach? What was that? What you say, I Zach? Zach? I said, is it number one? It's number one. He can't one. tell us that yet. Wow. Oh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> no, that's not even yeah, a hot I take. That, that that everyone should have known that. <laughs> I knew that one. Alright, sweet. So, Zach, right? Alright, my turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's on there. That was my Dang. guess, too. Dang. Really? <laughs> uh, may, I'll, I'll clarify this. So, it Is won't it just be like all a specific Hyrule? game if there's... M- yeah, exactly. So, so if, if there's World. multiple segments... Uh, yeah. If there's a multiple segments, it's just the yeah, I can't the amalgamation guess, like, of them. Hyrule from Majora's Mask or whatever. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, um, I don't know if this is a great one to live in, but I don't know. I think it'd be fun. So I'm gonna go with Assassin's Creed. 
Yeah, this one's not that hard because I just talk about this shit all the time. So, yeah, yeah. you got that one. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, that was going to be the next guess. Ah, oh, dude, this one might be... I think here's here's where it gets difficult. The bottom, the bottom portion of my list is going to be more tailored to me than anybody okay. else. I'm going to go... I'm okay. Go with Skyrim. Sorry, you went robot. I'm gonna go on me, with bro. Skyrim or like Elder Scrolls. Oh, that is not on it. That was gonna be honorable mention. Ooh, that was my I guess. So I'm glad that, that, that it's not. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, I, I guess I don't really know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it Mario World. You know, I just have never really gotten into a Mario game. So a Mushroom a Kingdom. Mario I have I am not. I'm so that is Mario. not on there. All right, fair enough. Maybe I'll give it a try. I've been trying to try that Odyssey, but yeah, that there's too much other shit to play. Odyssey's pretty fun. Yes. Have you guys watched Odyssey we'll speedruns? Uh-uh. They're so no. sick. I, tell, I don't know. I just find it super interesting when people play games like in ways that were clearly not intended and like i don't know people have it down to beat odyssey in like less than an hour and they just do some of the coolest things i just think it's super <laughs> interesting sweet hell yeah my oh, man okay um okay so i guess i have to make a guess here i don't know yeah, i don't I think know out after this how this one is but i feel like minecraft would be cool to live in you know you just get to do whatever you want no, i wouldn't no, Why not? Uh, that is not on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do not want to be a fucking block. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the drawback. Is you're a block, dude. I am torn between two games right now. I know. I almost guessed Mass Effect. Should I have guessed Mass Effect? Billy, you fucking shit. Me. I don't know. <sighs> this is gonna be a hot take here. But it might be kind of fun to live a day in it. Hit me. GTA. Uh, it's on there. I don't know. Really? On there? <laughs> you like oh, being no. robbed constantly? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to just do Horatio all yeah, the time? Just, just like all whatever around. you wanted? I'm sorry. I said do yeah. whatever you wanted in Minecraft, and you said that was but ridiculous. The difference is you're a block. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said I didn't want to be a fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, so you can do whatever you want as long as you're not a but block. But then you can't, like, drive 150 <laughs> miles an hour down the freeway and, like, run into some pedestrian. It, down on the wrong yeah. way. Yeah. Do that in yeah. Run out. Life. Just be fine. Let me get into my car and absolutely just rip it. Okay. I've definitely gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip, rip the minecart 150. I'm dead. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that that was one I was. You can build a freeway. <laughs> All right. All right, so Zach. What's your guess? next? Ah, uh, this is hard now. I know. I'm gonna go. Uh, All right. I guess I got a question first, Krim. Do you have a PlayStation Four? No. I do not, no. but my brother does. So you've played PlayStation. I don't know if you want to take it. Potentially, I don't know. I'm going Horizon Zero Dawn. I've, play, I've played on the PlayStation, yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn. That's on there. Yes. Okay. That was a good no. guess. That was, no. was going to be one of my next That ones. That was one I didn't think anyone would get. Let's go. Really? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what to guess now. Um, I have a... Borderlands? Oh, good guess. I don't like Karim's reaction. <laughs> I don't either. What? Oh no! I you guys are my internet's so bad on the phone. So oh, we're losing guys, to me a again. Bit. I said Borderlands. Hello, hello, Karim. Uh oh, I'm here. K dog. <laughs> what was your guess? <laughs> it was Borderlands. Yo, you got it. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that was on there. Sure. Those yeah. last two guesses are pretty good. Horizon was a little bit sketchy, but. I mean, we all hit on two, so that's pretty yeah. good. Mm-hmm. No, I think Marshall hit on three, no, right? I, 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 Marshall wait, hit three. Did I? What was my third one? Did you? Yeah, I thought you and Zach hit three. I hit. No, oh no! I oh yeah, I missed on Skyrim. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. I missed on. I'm just tripping. Skyrim should have been on there. <clears throat> I was like, unless I track this wrong. 
<laughs> but I'm just kidding. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I haven't... All right, should I, should I... I have an honorable mention that I'll get to at the end, but I think this might be the most fun, like, open... I'm sorry, the most fun is definitely playing in Pokemon World, because I want to catch animals and fight them, and make, like, have no job, just no, do nothing No, but this else. game I'm thinking of, Animal I don't know crossing. if it made Krim's list, I, it probably didn't, but... Hit me. No Man's Sky. Hit me. You know, my brother's been trying to get me on it, I haven't Dude, played it Dude, I played it right okay. when it came out, it was supposed to be, like, the next great game, it sucked when it came out, but it was like, dude, it's a, it's a universe, literally like a universe, you travel, like, light speed from, like, planet to planet. And it it's like probably the biggest game do out still, there. Do you still have it, Marshall? Uh, I probably I, yeah. do, dude. But major, major, major yeah. updates. Apparently, it's supposed, it's supposed to be supposed pretty, to be pretty now. fun now. Mm-hmm. Man. So, uh, I probably still have it in my library. Oh yeah, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, but that's what my yeah, brother's been playing. Um, All these good games out. He's just like, yo, No Man's Sky is just too is good. No you got to get on it. And I was oh, like, No yeah. Man's Sky is on Xbox too, huh? They yeah. called mm-hmm. it the the next update, and it was because if you guys remember, No Man's Sky was it was pretty much a complete lie. It was, dude. Out. I was I pre-ordered that game, man. It was one of those. It was it was shit to begin with. It got better as it went. I pre-ordered yes. that game. So uh, now you that know, can, uh... speaking of games that started out as shit, was Destiny on your list? Okay, no. Let's, uh, let's get into Crim's list because I'm kind of interested no, no, no. in what's yeah. going on here. Yeah, what's at ten here? All right, coming at number ten. I'm sorry, Marshall. Is Horizon? That was Zach. That was me. Oh, it was. <laughs> Zach. I was it like, was wait, Zach. I'm tripping. <laughs> no. It's like, sorry, I don't know why Marshall needs. To sorry. <laughs> Am I missing something here? It. I don't know. I just started playing it, so I'm not that immersed into it yet. But I mean, I could definitely see the appeal of just rolling around the Rocky it. Mountains after. I'm glad Post-apocalyptic. Because that, that was kind of a wild oh, yeah. on my part. I've never played I Horizon. I wish I could play it. I don't have access to a PlayStation. I've never played Horizon, actually. Bro, just Horizon, buy a PS5. Horizon yeah. and God of War are the two games that make me want a PlayStation so bad and make me not hate myself for getting an Xbox. I don't... Yeah, I'm not no, that... I'm not like, I would that. play Last Dude. of Us, but, like, I'm not that into, like, zombie games, so, that, like... I'd play it and I'd probably like it, but it's not like the other two. I are that I'd be is more my number in. one favorite game of all time. It would probably stay there. the The second one I, I've heard is not that great, but the it depends on people have mixed opinions yeah, on it, and yeah. I think it's partially people being dumb and partially that there were some bad decisions made. But right, it is yeah. True. But dude, my brother liked it. And he's a hardcore. Fan. Yeah, the original okay. Last of Us though, Zach, you've never even played yeah, it yet, same. huh? No, I'm not. I didn't. I didn't have a PlayStation. But you have the disc now. I the original Last of Us. I do. I could play it. But oh, bro. Have... It's Get on it such, tonight. <laughs> it's such, such a good game. Like, oh my goodness. It won like 100 Game of the Year awards. Right. And is, can I ask, is it based on the gameplay or is it based on the story? It's story it's driven for both. sure. Yeah, but the gameplay is still okay. fine. It's it's the well, story. Yeah, it's a good that. gameplay, but I feel like it's known for well, the story. I'm pretty sure it is only the story. I don't think there's an online Last of Us. Is there? there? Is. I've never played sure. it. My brother, my brother. Right, but there's uh, a, I don't think there's, there's no. Online. That's not what I was talking about, though. I meant like you know just a game. Like yeah, the like player. it's a it's no, like the... uh, I feel like I'd compare it to like Bioshock even like at least in the like the separation where it's like Man, it's I like really it's got good gameplay. I was a scared little. Scared little Dude, Bioshock is scary. <laughs> really? I played it like last year. Bioshock. I played it like last year. It's a fun game. I, I played it a while ago, but Bioshock is scary, man. It's like. Did you guys like Infinite? Yeah. I played it. Never really been into the Bioshock series because when it came out, like I said, I was a scared 10 year old. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what Bioshock I played, but I was like 13, 14. Dude, I was in my basement just shitting myself. Like. The, the problem is, is, it's just like all those like <laughs> pop-ups, dude. There would be like some random pop-ups that just scare yeah. the crap out of you, man. Another scary game right. is Resident Evil, if you guys ever played that. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, that's too. a scary game, too. But Dude, I've never played... I, I just do not play... Other than The Last of Us, I'm playing through it now. I really don't play any, like... Like... Zombie... Yeah. I... Anything like that. I've never played a Resident yeah. Evil game. I know Bioshock's more like... Bioshock's more of like Aliens. Yeah. 
Definitely. Right. All right, boys, we got to move along a little bit here because we're, we're about to have so a three-hour episode though. at the rate we're going. I know it is. We need a whole video game pod. <laughs> but uh, let's get into number nine since that's still we're 15 minutes in and we're on number nine. <laughs> Karim, uh, what's at number nine here? Sorry, Billy. Uh, we got Borderlands. That's all right. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to be on the list anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad. Yeah, no, I mean. Play Borderlands 3? Dude. I have it yet. Than, mm-hmm. That's a game that I am definitely playing. Tonight. Other than uh, when when Fortnite transformed its map into Borderlands. Oh, I, <laughs> dude, Fortnite is. I forgot yeah. about that. Ah, dude, yeah, I forgot about okay, Fortnite too. I played when I played board. Uh, Fortnite would not be a fun world to live in. It's a fight to but the that death. Would be fun. Constantly. Oh, That's yeah. why I didn't choose any shooters. I almost uh, guessed Call of Duty Some... Warzone, but I. Didn't. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Nah, yeah. Be glad you didn't choose those. I don't know, Borderlands, I haven't played the third one. I bought it, though. Because oh, Best yeah. Buy was having a sale. When it I was, played I bought it for like seven bucks. Seven Borderlands bucks. 3? Borderlands 3, that just came out. Yeah, dude, I think you can buy it now. I think it's on sale for like ten bucks. If you just All want right. to cop it. Just I'm looking it. on Amazon dude, right no, now. But if you think about it, like... A battle royale map would actually kind of be fun to play in. Just like if you don't actually die. If you did it for like paintball. If you didn't, do a. If, if, you, the, if, it's just, if you didn't actually yeah. die and yeah, got what's immersed the, um, into like a world. What's the Nintendo one? What's the Nintendo one? Uh, the Their paintball version, basically. If you did like that. Wait, what is it? Wow. It literally is $10 at Best Buy. That's outrageous. Dang. Just well, cop I haven't it, been bro. into Borderlands at all. Right Never ever. You never? No, I've never been into Borderlands. Bro, j- if you got a buddy with you, it's just you and your buddy just just kill a shit. I like that. Splatoon is the one I'm thinking of, Marshall. It's like it's not like a fun <laughs> as the game is less fun, but I feel like in real life it's just paintball instead of actually dying right. in a battle but royale. Dude, it's like if you're just if you get immersed into a video game world and like you don't actually die like in real life. You just get like put in this world. So like, it would be so like Sao style basically. I guess yeah. It's like just like I mean that could probably be what video games are fifty years from now. Just like actually yeah. I mean yeah. Actually that'd be being cool. in this world, you enter some like some sort of like, closet. One. You enter yeah. some sort of closet. And you like G- enter yeah. this world and you're actually like going at it with these other guys. Fortnite would be so fun, dude. Yeah. Like walking around the map like with your homie. Just like building shit. That would be sick. Like, dude, that would be fun. But you know, like <laughs> building shit. Like, whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> you know, I yeah, I, did, I didn't give thought to that. I mean, now now that sounds kind of appealing. If if you take out the if yeah, you're not but the I feel like that is factor. definitely not how I interpreted the list. As like I was interpreting yeah. like you include the death part, so that's why I was like definitely not Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, dude. no, I feel you. All right, Karim, let's move on to number eight here. What's on eight on your list here? Number eight is GTA. Okay, uh, so we all hit on ten, ten through eight. eight. <laughs> Dude, GTA would be kind of fun, though. I'm serious. It would be kind of fun. I'm. It's just like, it'd be kind of fun to just dick around. I mean, I, I've never really played GTA just to like, for the sake of playing GTA, other than just like, yo, I'm, I'm just trying to, Drive up the wrong side of the highway oh, for GTA is so fun, but none of my friends ever <laughs> want to play it with me. Yeah, I don't have GTA. Brutal. GTA is fun. It's it is pretty repetitive, and, and like a lot of times, if you're actually trying to like build an enterprise in GTA, it, it takes like a grind, and you actually have to have like jobs. It's like a lot of time in my GTA. Brutal. Yeah, I do. Like with some of my missions, I do what I do with my job right now, like deliver packages. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like GTA is just super intense Sims. Oh, it is. It is. It's a gangster yeah, Sims. I've said that before. Yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of what's fun about All right. it. Okay, number seven. Yeah. Seven. What's at seven? All right. Seven is The Witcher. Oh, I should have guessed I was, that. I was about <laughs> that, that was one. on my list. I was thinking about that one. That was on my list last week. Oh, yeah, it was, huh? Oh, was it? <laughs> The Witcher TV show is on my list oh, last week. Right. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Wait. That's a good no, one. No, I mean, just. Yeah, Did uh, anyone, this one's pretty self explanatory. One of the best games. Did guess Far Cry? 
Oh, I didn't. That's a good guess, I too. Should, yeah. That was my that was my honorable mention. Okay. So, be glad you didn't do it, but... <laughs> I'm really mad at myself for not guessing The Witcher now. Yeah, yeah me too. I, <laughs> I feel like living in a fantasy it. world would yeah, be awesome. Dude. Just like any fantasy world, and The Witcher's kind of the go-to for see, I video was games. Kind of, that, I guess yeah, man. Skyrim... That didn't make it. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I mean, on that that's, same wavelength. That's kind of close. Yeah, I, ju- I just gave the edge to The Witcher. All right. Six here. What's up next? Number six. Billy's going to punch himself. Because it's Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought that might be on <laughs> That should be list. number one. I thought that might be on <laughs> I like how... I feel like you definitely Swing did it around New York City. Because it's half so my list. Fun, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm I mad at myself now. Billy I'm real mad. That one. <laughs> I should have for sure. I didn't, I guess I didn't think Karim would have put it. If if I made the list, it definitely would have been on. Yeah, Spider Man is. A I mean, game. yeah, the, I feel like it's just self explanatory. Beautiful it's game. game, just zipping around New York City. Yeah, like who doesn't want to be here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, right. right. Like he's fucking dope. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that that one's that one's cut and dry. Let's yeah. go to number five. <laughs> And I'm surprised none of you guessed this, but Cyberpunk, Night oh, City. Okay. Ah, I can't wait till that game comes out though. That's really gonna be like probably a game of like what's the the, the decade? I, I would say decade, but probably game of the next fifty years. Well, <laughs> dude, I'm I'm so stoked for this game. Yes, me too. I don't know that this much about it, so I guess I need to look more into it. Maybe oh, I'll get it. Bro, this we keep telling you every every time. Old, so. I mean, it's really old. I can yeah. really see this getting to a point where it's bigger than GTA. Five. I'm going to laugh when this is the biggest disappointment. It's probably and it's going just, to be, dude. It's just not Don't say that, bro. Oh, don't no. say that, it bro. That's what I thought with... It won't be? I don't think... Too, I, dude, I thought it was going to, like, be the, the, the next, like, absolute superstar game, but... It was not. It just got review bombed instead. Right. See, but I feel like The Last of Us 2... Has the the sequel, sequel, dr- yeah, exactly. Just because it's not the first one, that's why it makes it not as great as and they did as the bad Last of Us. Decisions and I mean the game is good. My brother, like I said, that's who I'm getting my game information from. Is a hardcore gamer and he fucking he liked this game. So uh, just if I had to tell somebody whether they should play it or not, I would say yeah, that you should play it. But uh, I did hear they made bad uh, bad story decisions. You could say. Yeah. Right. So, but but Which, would you be that upset about it if you didn't play the first one? Already have a conception of where you wanted yeah, the story see, to go. Yeah, that's my problem. And then it doesn't go your way, and then you. I feel like I would so have been. Th- mad I if feel I like that's the first one, and this is how the second. And one see went. that that's kind of right. TV exactly. Shows, like tangent. One of my favorite TV shows of or all movies, time yeah. was like yeah. The Walking Dead, but. It fell off so uh, hard, like after the fifth season. I don't remember exactly what season it was, but it's because right. people don't let things know, die in peace. So, right. But see, I think I think you have to do it right. Cyberpunk is different. I think Cyberpunk is like it's it's not a sequel to anything. It's just a new iteration yes. of this thing. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I don't think it's gonna suffer as like The Last of Us did. I'm I have high hopes. I mean, CD Projekt Red. Great development. I don't know. I fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. They've been working on this for so long. I don't know how this would bomb unless. Just I don't know. I don't think it's gonna bomb. It yeah. Can't bomb. Well, well I just mean, keep postponing it until well, it doesn't for bomb. For sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get into what's up next here. Number four is Hyrule. Oh, okay. Wait, Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, just. Uh, so Zach I don't know. That one. It, it's, a, yeah, just a beautiful game. Or I'm just specifically the Breath of the Wild yes. iteration, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't played Breath of the Wild, and I feel like I really need to. It's just like, yeah. dude, if you have I'm a Switch and like you haven't played sale. it, because like it's that still at like forty bucks. Seller. Do you have a Switch, Billy? It's never. I have a Switch. He yeah. does. You do? Okay, then yeah, hundred percent. You should buy that. <laughs> that game is a system dude, seller. It, if you don't have a Switch, you buy a Switch to play Breath of the Wild. That's literally why I bought a Switch. Yes. All right. <laughs> Dude, you just you gotta take the bullet. You're gonna you're gonna be able to find it for fifty bucks. Just just be content with that. All right. I might have to get that one. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm I'm just getting a bunch You're of game get recommendations on this pod. You know, no. I'm like games that I definitely should be playing. Yeah. You're gonna get your money's worth. That's for sure. Sweet. All right. Okay. All right. So what's it three? So three. I didn't think any. I thought people would get. I don't know. Maybe I just like this series more than. Others, just the the Tomb Raider. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, okay, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is super good. Yeah. I feel yeah, like it's just... like the video game version of Indiana oh, Jones. Dude, I just hit my elbow. Yeah. Which would be fun, yeah. but I don't know. That's not, yeah, like, really my taste. Like, I get it, but it's like, it's not, like, that's not where I'd want to live. <laughs> no, I mean, I was just, just for the, the tomb aspects, just, like, the, the concepts are so cool and they yeah. look so... Yeah. But I'd freak out if I was in a it tomb you... in real life. Like, if I had to go in a tomb, I'd, I'd, I'd be scared. I don't want to do that. You're dead. <laughs> Laura uh, okay, Croft is more uh, badass than I That's fair. I mean, I every time I just play one of these games, I just get mesmerized with the... Yeah. The, just the world in general. So, right. I, I had to give it a shout out. These next two, I'm sure, are not going to be... Uh, so, number two... I got Assassin's Creed. Nice. And wow. one is Red Dead. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot about that guess. I just, I don't know why I love the, the the concept of the real world. I think it's a good concept. I think it's dying and they're trying to milk it a lot. It's still okay. I'm going to, I'm not going to comment, but it's good. But I mean, just like, if you just, Pretty much, I just put it up there just because each iteration of the game, you're in this different era of history. Yeah. And they're they're really well done. Just like any of the ones in the, like, Black Flag, you get to explore the Caribbean. And in right. Odyssey, yeah. you, this huge Greece, and it's all alive. And I don't know. See, so like, I just had to give that one a shout out. I love sci-fi, and I love history. So, like, just the, like, merging of the two, it, it makes it yeah. perfect. It's It's... Such a cool concept, and like, there's a reason uh, it's one of the bigger series that's been around for a while. Right. And yeah, clearly, I know they're definitely. Yeah, go ahead, Zach. Clearly, Sorry. Assassin's Creed is a big game, and uh, you know, I think it would be that much better if they didn't do it every year. Which they stopped doing yeah. now. Yeah. That, yeah I mean, true, the, the, and it's gotten that. better since they did it. Since they did, yeah. it, it got better. You know, you got Origins right. and Odyssey. And that's what they need. Odyssey was definitely one of the best Assassin's Creed games I've ever played. Oh, Odyssey's my favorite by far. I loved Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Great you game. you have to play Origins. Origins. I know. The I've story gotten, of like, Origins. part way through Origins. And I, I haven't gotten as into it because I don't think the gameplay is as good in Origins. But the, the story is definitely not as good. interesting. It just it takes a little bit longer to Yeah, bro. The gameplay is like way different than all the other Assassin's Creed. It is. I mean, like, the yeah. climbing is still the same. What I love about Odyssey is you don't take fall damage, which makes exploring more fun. Yeah. So you <laughs> just can just jump, jump off shit. cliffs and you're good. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't, don't want to, like, if I see a thing and I'm like, I want to go there, but I don't want to climb, I, just, I don't have to worry about it. I can just jump down and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, for sure. They're, they're just so, I just have to give it the, so high up just because. Whatever you're kind of wanting to explore, you can explore. Because yeah, they just have so, so many iterations of the game. And they're all pretty well done. Other than the story is not as gripping as a lot of these games that I mentioned. Like The Witcher or Cyberpunk or yeah. it's, Zelda. Well, but it's definitely not a story-driven game, no. for sure. Yeah, it's just the the fact that you could just do... You could just be in Ancient Greece and it's pretty well done. Yeah. So, obviously that leaves Red Dead for one... Probably my favorite game of all time. I knew that. I knew that really? was your number one, dude. When I when I heard I was guessing. First. I know you talk Red... about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to get Billy to play it with me online. I know, and I, I want to. Time. I just I haven't gotten around to it. I'm so, I I play games weird, you know. So, the, a lot of the games I play, I play because they're like mindless games. Like I'll spend a lot of time playing like NHL because it's mindless and I can watch a movie. And just play chell in the background, which is why I don't spend that much time like legitimately playing video games, which is why I fall behind a lot. So that's why I have a hard time keeping up. But I want to get to Red right. Dead. I want to get around to it. I feel that too, Billy. Dude. I get into games that are like high score based for some reason. Like that yeah, tends to be mobile games. I'm just like, uh, why I got gotcha. you. 
<laughs> makes sense. <laughs> right, like Tomb Raider. Right, I'm just super like into like, Snake. I'm trying to get as far as I can and doing the same thing for no reason. But that goes back to like the mindless thing, like you're saying. Those mindless games are just so much fun. Yeah. To think about anything. Yeah, and like you can just like I like to multitask, which is why I do the same thing with TV shows. Like I'll flip it, you know, I'll play a game and then I'll watch a TV show that I don't have to pay attention. Like I'll watch Parks and Rec because I don't really have to pay attention, and I can just also be playing a game and then really focus on the game. I guess game. I'm completely opposite yeah. from you guys. It's so weird. I just yeah, I need to focus on yeah, whatever like, I do. Ah, uh, really invested, dude. Like if I'm in a video game, I have to, dude. Like I'm into it. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I'm no, I'm, I'm the same, dude. Sure. Like I, I zone out everything, <laughs> I, especially competitive video games like COD or Fortnite or Apex or something, dude. I yeah, I'm into it. Marshall doesn't have to like imagine what it would be like to live in these video game worlds because when he's playing, he is in that <laughs> yeah, world. Exactly. He's a hundred percent in and it. And I, I take it like <laughs> if I die in COD, I, I take it like I literally just died myself. In anything, <laughs> I yeah. I, sometimes you'll hear <laughs> him. <laughs> I'll be uh, me and Marshall just be hanging out on a Facetime while he's playing COD, and I just hear a scream out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, Marshall died. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. I'm dead. I love video games, especially competitive video games. Even though I suck at competitive video games. Yeah, I feel You're like it's not... impossible not to like video games. Like, there's so like, how can you can't just say I don't like video games because there's so many different video games. There's something that for everybody, my, for sure. My all-time favorite video game is one that none of you guys would play, but it's Pokemon Platinum. Because, like, it, uh, partly just the nostalgia factor, but just the... That's the game that made me fall in love with video games a little yeah. bit. And it's it still it lingers to this day, and it's like, I could play that endlessly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not for sure. I mean, just going back to Red Dead, because Red Dead is the best game <laughs> on my list. Yeah. If you have not played it, you need to play it. I've never, like, been so emotionally invested in a game. Really? Until Red Dead. No, Red Dead's a great game. Oh, my game. God. It's so well written. If you if you want to feel like you're actually... Like, Rockstar yeah, did so well. But... Yeah. Just... I, I think... Which makes me, like, so jealous that GTL get so much sponsorship... And if they just give Reddit a little bit of love, I feel like it would be one of the best games ever. Has Red Dead but that's my DLC? opinion. Dude, no, there's no DLC. There's nah. there's online. No. Interesting. All right, boys. The one game that deserved it be Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys. So I know we could all talk about video games for another several hours, which is why we definitely need to look into starting up a gaming pod, which will be fun. But uh, it's time to get into our second segment, which is our off-brand reviews. And I think I actually forgot to mention it at the top of the show. But we'll be reviewing some off-brand cookies. And I'm I'm honestly really excited <laughs> for this. So I'm reviewing maple cream cookies, which normally are pretty much exclusive to Canada. But for whatever reason, the Kroger version is available in the United States. So you can get Kroger maple cream cookies and... I love maple cream cookies. I'm hoping that the Kroger ones are just as good. And I mean, I opened up the box just to kind of take a look. And they look the same. So I'm hoping that they're as good as the real thing. I got some Private Selection, a Kroger brand, from uh, Milk Chocolate Petite Bure Biscuits. <laughs> so the fancy off-brand cookies so. there. Alright, I got a... Uh... I guess what they like to call crumb diddlyicious, and I got like a, a kind of an <laughs> off-brand Oreo kind of thing. You see, it's a, okay. Like a oh, here. like yeah, it's a vanilla there. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the split. Yeah, there we go. And I just got straight Kroger brand chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. All right, boys. Let's uh, let's get into these here. Nope. This is the 10. Yeah. Whoa. That's a hot take. Jesus. Same. Instant 10. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Billy? Yes. Wow. I love maple cream cookies. They're like the best cookie in the world. And I'm so mad that they're not in the U.S. And now that I know I can get them at Kroger, I will be buying these constantly. <laughs> what do they taste like? Maple syrup? This is definitely... A little bit, yeah. It's like an Oreo, but... 
the cookie is like a real cookie. It's almost like a maple shortbread cookie and then maple mm. flavored cream. And they're so good. Bro. Yeah, these are good. So, verdicts, everyone? <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan. And thank God these were only a dollar fifty. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's just a worse Oreo. Yes, exactly. It's a worse Oreo. <laughs> Makes no, sense. I, I'm giving. What, what are you gonna What are you gonna rate that one, Zach? Um, I'm gonna have to give it a uh, an ass out of ten. <laughs> ass out of ten. Are you serious? Are you gonna finish the cookies though? I feel like yeah, you gotta get like something. Like these. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so those are real bad. <laughs> You gotta pick your uh, pick the right cookie when it comes to off brand apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Karim, how are your chocolate chip ones? Dude, I gotta say, uh, I don't. They taste like cookies, so I'm gonna give them a five. All right. <laughs> They're cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a five is average, no. right? It's like this is a cookie. It's a five, I guess. I'm going 10 with these, dude. <laughs> you got to get the private selection from Kroger here because. Apparently. Wow. Kroger knows what they're doing, apparently. I mean, yeah, I'm going to 10 too. And, like, I. It's a little bit worse than the full one. The full, the real one. Like I said, like, it's supposed to be like a shortbread cookie, and this is a little bit more like, like an animal cracker. But, I mean, it's still like the cream makes it. And this is still a 10 out of 10. I love these cookies so much, and I'm so happy that they exist. Yeah, I guess mine's like a shortbread too. Yeah, with like some chocolate yeah. on it. And those are my favorite kind of All right, we. <laughs> yeah, co- I mean, honestly, I'm such a g- big fan of cookies, just in general. Like, they're my uh, go-to kind of like sweet snack. Really? I mean, I think Marshall has said this in the past. I'm more of like a salty kind of person, not so much sweet. Oh yeah, sweet. shame. So I definitely would like for some kind of chip mm-hmm. over a cookie. Oh, I'm not at, like... I don't love chips that much. Yeah, because you don't like potatoes. I like Cheez-Its. It's because they're made out of potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I like... That's, that's true. <laughs> but, like, I'll eat chips. Like, I like chips... Because they're, like, so far from actually being a potato. But, like, like, I still like them, but I'm not, like, a huge chip person. That's funny. <laughs> but I love beef jerky. Beef jerky's like, if I have to pick a salty snack, oh, I'm going beef jerky every time. Okay. Really? Beef jerky, beef jerky is, fire. is fire, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, some beef jerky's fire. Some beef jerky's fire. Ooh. Oh. We should review for, beef jerky. For those of you, oh, okay, that's a good idea. I, won't even <laughs> I know your brand, brand Zach. I'll just, I'll, and I was yeah, probably going to do the same one. <laughs> then you can review them in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, won't even, we don't even need to do off-brands, really, for beef jerky. We can just do, like, we won't do jack links or whatever but we can do like good beef jerky that's like just somewhat smaller omega companies Omega or whatever isn't there like an omega or yeah something? whatever it's called yeah it starts with an o oh bro there's an m in it somewhere or o is it like ob something yeah, i don't it's know it's like obero whatever. it's beef jerky obero that's but it actually we could pro- zach we could probably just all do the same beef jerky yeah that's actually a good idea I mean, I let's do it trapper beef jerky all right, in two episodes, it's so good. Next it's episode we'll do a conspiracy. Expensive. Nice. Next episode we're doing a conspiracy, and the episode after that we will be reviewing Old Trapper beef jerky. So stay tuned for that. We definitely plowed through our review segment a little bit today, but that's good because it makes up for the fact that we did a lot on the list, which I liked because this was a really good list and it was a fun conversation. But does anyone have any last things they want to say before we kind of close out this episode? Kale McCarthy Calder. Oh, Where are the dudes? Kale McCarthy yes, Calder? Yes, actually do. Oh, <laughs> you guys got it. Yeah, guys, what about know. Nathan McKinnon for heart? Is that yours this time, oh, yeah, Zach? That's, right. <laughs> that's or, what you said uh, on the last yeah, pod. Ted yeah, yeah, we'll just make sure. Just <laughs> Avalanche player for award. Yeah. And that's Avalanche it. That's the, that's the thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you to all our viewers for watching. This is, uh, I think this has honestly been my favorite of our top tens pods so far. So more like this. So we're going to, we're going to be back next week with another pod, uh, a couple more pods and uh, we'll see you guys then.